Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is an Ipsy unbagging for March. Um, if you, my daughter's over here in her crib. Um, <laughs> and she's having a great time. But um, if you watched my Ipsy video from last month, I, um, I got Ipsy just for my birthday month, and then I saw that March's bag is their 100th Ipsy bag, and to celebrate, they're giving everyone a sixth product. So I decided to say stay subscribed for March. So opening it up, we have some products already, like right inside. So here is the card. It says celebrate you, and then it just talks about um, how there's six glam bag picks. Uh, because it's their 100th bag. Oh, and it looks like they're also doing giveaways every day for this month. So I did not know that, that they've been doing giveaways all month long. But the products that are not in my bag are two face masks. Um, let's see, they're both sheet masks. We've got a natural Shea butter, and these are from Same. It's S-A-E-M, the Same. Um, but natural shea butter mask, and this one is for protecting, and it says the shea butter is from Africa. And then this other one is a natural avocado um, sheet mask for deep moisturizing, and this is avocado from Mexico. So love that, I love getting sheet masks um, in my subscription boxes. My favorite things to get in Ipsy are sheet masks, nail polish, and makeup brushes. Which brings me to my next product, which is a little brush from Firma. It's a 203 brush. I do believe I have another Firma brush around somewhere, and it's just a nice little, it's a like fluffy concealer brush, but this is fluffy enough that I'd probably use it as an eyeshadow brush, because I prefer my concealer brushes to just be a little more on the stiff side. Um, but I would am probably gonna use this for eyeshadow. So love love this so far a really great bag And here's what the bag actually looks like And we still have four more products because it's a, it's a special month this month. So Next thing we have a liquid eyeliner from Galactic. It's a precise eyeliner marker and black noir I actually I got a liquid liner last month um, uh, from a different brand. Last month I was talking about how excited I was to get an eyeliner because I, I use liquid eyeliner a lot and it's nice to have a backup. But that eyeliner, when I used it, it was so dry and I actually had to throw it away pretty much immediately because it was so dry. Um, so hopefully we have better luck with this one. So I do like getting liquid li liners in my bag just because I go through them pretty pretty frequently. I use them a lot. Um, but last month was kind of a bust. And then we have, now this is so beautiful. It's from Wander Beauty. Here's the packaging. The packaging is also very pretty. Um, and it is an eyeshadow in bouquet. And here is the shadow. I'm probably going to use this as a highlighter. Just look at how beautiful that is like this is what I think of when I think of like a foiled eyeshadow I know I don't know if it's like technically a foiled eyeshadow but in my mind this is like what foil like aluminum foil looks like but it's just so so pretty I'm gonna do a little swatch for you guys now I'm actually maybe will use this as an eyeshadow because it actually picked up a lot darker um than it looks in the pan and this is probably gonna just be a little bit too gold against my skin tone uh, maybe during the summer if I get like more of a tan this summer it would work better but it just seems a little bit gold it's still absolutely beautiful though this packaging is so cute though it's like floral and mauve um I kind of want to keep it in here most of the time when I get a single shadow like this I just throw it in my z palette um, my like magnetic palette and I don't know I don't know if uh, if I'm gonna put this in my Z palette or not. It also says it's only got a six month shelf life. That's very interesting because usually eyeshadows have um, much longer shelf lives, like at least a year at the minimum, a year. Usually a, a couple years. So I'm very interested in um, why. An important thing to note and then we've got a blush which I'm very excited about. This is in the color Bellini. It's from Shane Shane Nub. 
Miami and it's a pretty like peachy blush I love blush I mentioned this recently in my like 21 days of beauty my recommendations but I've been very into blushes lately and this is such a like very nice like everyday color I like pink blushes um I know not a lot of people do though I know for most people this is like um much better personally I will take any color of blush you want to give me though I just love blushes and this is very beautiful and then the very last product we have is actually the product that I picked out um, at the end of like every month you can pick out the following month's product so I picked out the Tatcha dewy skin cream and it's just a little baby these things are pretty expensive it says um replenishing Japanese purple rice for dry skin I have very dry skin and uh, here's what it looks like. It's just a little, it's even got like a purple tint to it. So, ooh, it smells like lavender. So I am very, very excited to use this. I've only ever used one other Tatcha product and it was uh, Tatcha face masks that came in BoxyCharm like over a year ago. So I'm super excited to try another Tatcha product because let's be honest, Tatcha is a bit out of my budget. So. To get to try, um, to get Tatcha in an Ipsy bag is really, really awesome. It's even like a very decent size. Like a lot of bigger brands kind of like to skimp out on their sample sizes, uh, but this is a pretty good size. So I'm very impressed with this. I'm very impressed to see Tatcha in an Ipsy bag and so excited to use it. So. Uh, this bag this month was super, super good. I have nothing negative to say about any of these products. They're all things that I love and that I will use um, and, and I'll get a lot of use out of. So that's it for today's Ipsy bag. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.